Hi guys, so as some of you know, today I've decided to do a video to answer some of your questions that you have been asking me across the last week. Firstly, uh, I need to introduce myself. My name is Alicia Shaglova. I manage the company called Dacia Real Estate, which obviously is a real estate business in Dubai. I have been working initially as a real estate broker since 2008, and now I solely manage the team. So one of the questions was, how did I make my first million in the Dubai real estate market? Uh, I'll assume that you're talking in dirhams, not dollars. Uh, like I said, I started real estate in 2008 when I was only 21 or 22 years old. So I started doing small deals such as rentals or small sales. Actually, I was very sensible with my money since a really young age. Uh, it's not in my nature to splurge. So over a few years, uh, I uh, of course collected 1 million dirhams. There were a few small deals, a few big ones, but persistent, not splurging, and hard work. Another question I received was what was the biggest commission deal that we've earned as a company? The biggest rental was 750,000 dirhams of commission generated, which was for a luxurious villa on the Palm Jumeirah. For a sale property, the commission we generated was over 3 million dirhams, which was for a sale of a plot of land in Dubai. But what is really important for us as a company and as a team is the number of deals that we generate and not really the value of each deal on its own. Uh, small deals, big deals, basically the volume is uh, what makes up our success and not necessarily the huge deals that do not happen that often. Is success a matter of luck? Do only lucky people become successful? Um, I think uh, it's a matter of both. For me personally, I made my luck. I worked really hard to reach success. But at the same time, I know many people who are actually really lucky. Sometimes it's about being on the right time, in the right place, and of course making your own luck. So uh, the answer is yes, luck is important. Uh, more for some than for others, but also hard work and uh, working towards your goal is just as important and perhaps even more important. How to stay motivated when things don't go your way, when you feel a little bit down, when the market is a bit low? It's a really good question and uh, I get this question asked many times because as some of you know, being a broker is not easy. You won't get huge figures on the board every single month and sometimes you do get into a slump. So what I always suggest uh, to the people that work with me is we need to sometimes take time out, maybe take a day or the weekend just to relax, forget about work, and then reset and start from the basics. So start from the basics when you first started the job, such as you know, keeping up with your clients, uh, being on top of your listings, uh, doing everything to th that you need when you first start your, your job as a real estate broker. And afterwards, set your goals once again, decide what's really important for you, forget about the negatives, and work in a positive way towards that goal. Uh, sometimes it's also about you know, speaking to a friend uh, or your manager uh, to tell them about your troubles and hearing another person's point of view uh, to keep you going. Another tip that I personally really like is reading an inspiring motivational book, watching a YouTube video or even a movie about somebody extremely successful. Uh, that always inspires me. Now I'm going to answer some of uh, quite random questions that did not fall into any part of the theme that I've talked about previously. Uh, one of the funny questions was, why am I so fantastic? <laughs> well, sometimes you're born with it, but I wasn't. I had to work really hard on myself, uh, on my self-confidence, etc. So uh, yeah, there's always, always room for improvement for anybody, whether you are a regular person or a superstar. So. Yes, I, I do not believe that I'm fantastic. I just work on myself every single day. Someone brought up that the rents in Dubai are quite expensive and uh, they end up uh, worrying month to month about paying their rent and what to do about it. 
Well, uh, first thing I would say is, of course, live within your means. So you should never overcommit to something or rent a place because it looks spectacular, it has an amazing view, when you know you're really stretching your budget. So uh, make sure you budget for the year. I don't think your rent should exceed maybe 30% of your income. Um, another thing, when you do move to Dubai, realize that it's uh, one of the most expensive cities in the world. So of course rents here will be more expensive, but hopefully so are your earnings. So I hope that answered your question. Just budget in the beginning. <laughs> One of you has asked me why Dubai does not offer many rent to own schemes. Uh, it was actually quite an interesting question because I've never thought about it and I actually never had a client that inquired about it. But I do know that some developers in Dubai do offer it, but uh, like you did mention, it's not something common like perhaps in some other countries. The reason I think this is not very common is because uh, rent to own does not generate an instant sale for the owner or the developer. So the owner or developer risks not selling the units in three years time or whatever. And uh, because the market is quite volatile, you don't know how much the property is going to be worth uh, in three years time. That's one of the reasons, I think. Um, and the next is, like I said, commitment from the side of the tenant and the landlord to a contract that perhaps might not happen in the end of the lease. But on the other hand, Dubai has other offers, uh, such as developers handing over ready properties with a post handover payment plan. So you can move in and have maybe even eight years to pay the rest of the money for your property. So that's on offer and of course there's mortgages where you can uh, lend around 75% of the value of your house and pay a mortgage on it. Part of my job at Dacia Real Estate is looking for new property consultants and new talent to join our team uh, and then I coach and develop those people. So I get um, messages often via Instagram asking me for a job at Dacia Real Estate. Usually we do hire people only with real estate background or at least very strong sales experience. But sometimes we do make exceptions when a person really stands out. What's really important in the real estate broker or any sales job, I think, is your enthusiasm, your attitude towards people. You really need to love socializing, networking with people. So yes, we do make exceptions for the right candidate. And then we train them and help them throughout uh, their way and uh, sometimes they become extremely, extremely successful real estate brokers at our company. So if you think you're really passionate about uh, taking part in this career, then definitely reach out to me and I'll be able to help you. So I hope you guys enjoyed some of my answers to the questions that you've had. Uh, you can always private message me if you have any more questions and look forward to my next video. Bye!